Okay, so for this next project, we're going to be fixing this around that cap right there. It's a it's a two piece section. The way I have to do this uh, because I don't have a paint booth big enough for this whole truck is uh, we're going to do it in sections. So this section here, where this line is here to here all the way around is going to be one section that we're going to work on and we're going to repair the scratches and digs and there's some holes in it there used to be a grab handle here uh, on both sides so we'll fix them there's a little crack in the corner up in that section over there this is fiberglass so we'll fix this clean it up and uh, this section will be painted We got the fiberglass on. One of the things that when you're sanding fiberglass or any of the materials like this, you really should wear breathing uh, filters and eye protection. Fiberglass especially is really irritating. <coughs> basically what you got to do you just fill it in with fiberglass the same material that it's made with and uh, sand it back down and leaving the stuff that is actually in the hole and around the hole you feather it out little ways around it and uh, to give it something to grab onto and then we'll use a little body filler over top of that smooth that out and it'll be done and uh, move on to the next spot all right okay well we got it primed we got everything covered up here with a plastic and taped off the things that i didn't want to get covered so uh but there's our first coat of primer we've got a do the wet sanding and some other stuff to it and get it prepared for the white but uh should be a couple days and uh we'll be painting the white all right well we have the rear cap painted we painted it last night and uh it's uh got it set now for a little bit seven days We've got to set seven days and then we can put clear on it because we're using an enamel paint we're not using a normal an acrylic enamel or urethane or a two-part we're using a an enamel an old school paint so it's got to set for seven days for it to fully cure and then we can put a lacquer clear over the top. So now the next step is to put the aluminum on and then we can install the door and uh, move on. <laughs> 